Hi, I'm Celine Mangan. Um, I'm the practice manager for mine rehabilitation at Greencap. It's another sister company of Decipher under West Farmers. Some of the best practice mine rehabilitation methods that I've seen is practitioners and mining companies that are challenging the status quo. MIA from Earth was a point of where we can see where the um, community is going and it's an ever increasing understanding of our environmental awareness and climatic conditions. Um, early engagement of stakeholders, be they internally and externally, and um, from a regulatory point of view, bringing them on the journey and understanding that, unfortunately, the mining industry, even though they may be doing their best practices or that they can, we've lost a sense of um, a disconnect with the community, and there's becoming a, a distrust and being able to tell communities and being open and showing where areas that have worked and where haven't worked and being able to bring that journey and share the data um, is where I think really the mining companies have come a long way from it. Another additional um, method I think that's been working really well um, for companies of the best practice is being um, early ecosystem function analysis. You need to have an understanding of an ecosystem functioning analysis, so be that trials in the field and in the lab, and to bring it back to what would look undisturbed, ultimately underneath it's been disturbed, so it functions completely different. Another best practice that I've seen is um, using technology and the tools that we have right now to understand and develop the foundations of a landform. Previous practices was in terms of a reshaping final landform and um, they were just did it and it was constructed to design or as they thought and then you'd wait and see how that evolves and there's going to be obviously a settling period in a final landform but if you don't capture that data at a very early stage and understand has it truly been constructed to design. Once you wait for a, a heavy rainfall event, water is going to find the easiest path and you're going to start with those rills and erosion and gullies um, quite early on and where you could actually avoid that. And then when it comes to that, that material has to be reshaped and reworked again, you could be talking tens of millions of dollars as opposed to something when you've got earthwork contractors on site. But also that foundation of what was truly established can be put into comprehensive um, mathematical models for erosion and landform stability monitoring. So when you can truly show the regulators that your understanding of where a landform needs to look at in um, perpetuity, that where it is long term, that you can look at the evolution over 100 plus years and see that that functionality of where it's growing and previously we weren't able to do that without technology so that status quo of moving and taking things on board and changing our way of working. <laughs>